pretty wide. Single again. He's saying Milon is not a bowler. Played cricket with him many years ago in this very competition. Not renowned for his bowling. Skipper has obviously said, the game is done and dusted. Roll your arm over. It seems like a competition at the moment. The Thunder is offering freebies and also offering opportunities to their player. Nothing wrong with it. Not that the tournament is over for them. It's just the fact that they are a good side. They've got good players. And you just feel that they've not got off the blocks yet. There's plenty wrong with their performances. They've put in two really poor performances so far. Overseas pros haven't stepped up. Local players haven't performed too well either. So much work for Herschel Gibbs to do. The game's come thick and fast. And as we talk about momentum, winning's a momentum, it's a habit, so is losing. So it's going to be interesting to see how Herschel Gibbs reacts to this defeat and how his players react. Smashed. Should get a couple of runs. Because, uh, oh, they just stay back for a single. It's a, he won the second, but easily have ended 45 not out. He'll more than likely end 44. Joe Malik, 12 off 10, what a pro he is. Well, as Shah said before the game, he's one of the best, most reliable overseas players you can have, Shaw Malik. Very calm, reads the situation well. Litton Das played well, he was excellent behind the stumps. Carried on his good form from the first innings with the bat. 44 not out for himself. Offered Shaw Malik to hit the winning runs. And he accepts it very well. Not for the first time, the second time in this competition that Shoy Malik has ensured that uh, the Raj Shahi Royals cross over for the second win. They do no wrong, the Royals at the moment. Two from two, playing wonderful cricket, must be said. For the Thunder, oh, what a head scratching. They need to keep their heads up though, the Thunder. A couple of wins can turn things around, but at the moment they're not doing the basics well themselves in a position with the bat today to get a good score they were 72 for three after 10 overs with a platform to get maybe 150 160 they were bundled out over so a lot of work to be done but take nothing away from the royals under the leadership of oh Shah in his first major assignment as a coach so far so good in the sixth shortest completed game in the history of BPL. It's just lasted 26.2 overs this game. It's been the story. They won't be complaining. That's I didn't have a good day today with the bat. Russell didn't have a very good day with the ball. He was smashed early on, 12 runs in his very first over in comparison to just eight in his three game yesterday. So this game can really turn around for anyone. That's what the Thunder team would be hoping. When can it turn around for them and how? Well, they've got to turn around themselves. So look at their own game, not worry about what the opposition are doing to Thunder. They're not playing basic cricket. They're playing poor cricket, making too many mistakes to let Thunder. On the other hand, the Royals are playing good, solid cricket. Bowling well, fielding very well. The Royals, they got some wonderful batsmen. Dre Russ hasn't captained much at OSHA, hasn't coached much, but they seem to have a good formula at the moment. They've got a good tight knit unit and their players are performing. That man's a good player, Litton Das. Our co commentator, Atar Ali Khan, is a big fan of that young man. Excellent wicket keeper and a lovely batsman. Yes, he is undoubtedly. Love his striking, they love the poise. Of the time that he has to play his shots, he needs somebody like that at the top. Somebody like the calm demeanor of uh, Litton Das, the partner Zazai at the top.
about a half century yesterday as with the Lazazai. Didn't start off at all today. But Lithan Das, 44 not out, partnering Afif uh, briefly for a good 74 on partnership. Then it was Shoaib Malik towards the end who ensured that there were no more slip-ups for the Rajshahi Royals. And uh, 